three, two, one. Welcome to The Peaceful Truth, the podcast where we talk about everything from women empowerment, feminism, and everything in between. You are joined by your co-host, Kenzie Meekbag. Megan Hoarts. And Beings. He's sitting on the end of the couch just perfectly in the shot. <laughs> he's very fat. I must say, he's, he's fat. put on some pounds. I can't help. I, I don't change his diet. Like, maybe he has a thyroid problem. Or maybe, I mean, he used to live with dog with a dog, so maybe... More exercise? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have to do much here. <laughs> but today, one of our friends is bringing over their dog. So he'll get some exercise then. <laughs> Which dog? Um, it's um our friend Tal's dog. His dog. He is like a labradoodle, I think. Oh my gosh, those are the best. The chocolate. Lab- Hannah is obsessed with all labradoodles. Every time I go to the dog park, those are always her best friends. Labradoodles. Be cute. They're, they're very s- cute. They're very I w- sweet. I as would well. love to get one. They're very sweet. They're very, um, they just seem like really happy dogs. Maybe slightly dumb. I could be wrong, but very cute, very sweet. They should be smart because they poodle in them. Maybe they're just goofy. Goofy. Because they have lab in them. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised Binks isn't like scared away by the light in the setup. He's just like chilling here like it's nothing. That's how you know I do production often because he just does, is not phased by it anymore. He's just like, whatevs. Um, Okay, so how was your weekend, Mink? We always let's see. I uh oh, I went to REI for the first time in my life. What? Now I'm. How have you lived in Seattle this long and haven't gone to REI? I don't know. I think because I'm not very like outdoorsy. I'm outdoorsy in sense that I like to be outdoors, but that does not include camping and or hiking. That includes walking around and being by water. Do you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. So I just have been kind of intimidated by it, but I need a lot of stuff for India because Mm. the temperatures fluctuate so much. So the mornings are going to be freezing and then the afternoons are going to be hot. What's your staying situation? Like where I'm staying? Yeah. At a, at a, like a retreat center. Oh, is it like outdoors at all? Um, yes, yes. Oh. A lot outdoors. Yeah. I think we're going to be outdoors like 90% of the time. So. Interesting. Um. You're basically camping. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, the retreat center is like, uh, think of like a hotel where it's only yoga people. Like a small hotel that's only yoga Are people. Are there incense? Yes. <laughs> Yes. I was trying to like think of stereotypical yogi things. So I needed a ton of stuff because the mornings are going to be like literally bundle up like gloves. That's how cold it is. And then the afternoons are going to be like really hot. And so I needed to stock up on stuff. So I went to REI. I was there for so freaking long. I know. It's like a vortex. And I spent a shit ton of money. And I am also an REI member now. (laughs) Was Des there with you? No, thank God. He that would have been flipped out. We would have gotten unengaged if he would have been there with me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, this is over. <laughs> so that's what I did yesterday. That's awesome. Um, what I, this weekend, I've just been doing like production work, to be honest. I just need to get caught up and then been lazy, too. Oh, real quick. I also just want to shout out REI for how extremely helpful they are. Shout out REI. I am all, I I guess I'm like totally an REI fan now. We need, we can't shout them out this much. I mentioned their label this much without being sponsored by them. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Free advertisement ends now. Ends now. (laughs) You know what, REI, we need to get sponsored. (laughs) Yes. For how much money I spent yesterday, we do. (laughs) <laughs> you, we should just get paid back for how much money you paid. Okay, so what are we talking about today? So today, well, so during our birthday weeks, we like to have, like, we kind of choose a fun one. We should start doing that for, like, our birthday weeks for this podcast. I think we do fun ones more often than that. No, we do. <laughs> no, but, like, I mean, in Specifically particular. Specifically birthday I mean? weeks. Yes. yes. 
Um, and so this week I, we were trying to think of what to do and cause it's my birthday week and we, I was thinking that we could do since it's fall and I love fall. I'm a little biased cause my birthday is in the fall. Um, there's pumpkins. I love pumpkins. Unfortunately, I like the color orange, but I hate UT. Um, and so, you know, I, uh, yeah, I'm your basic. cat is named off of a, a Halloween movie. Halloween movie. Yeah, and Hocus now he's Pocus. hiding in a little crevice. Um, yeah, he is. His namesake is Hocus Pocus. Um, so I love the fall. Wait, real quick. Did you always before you met Binks as a cat? Did you say I'm going to name my cat Binks regardless of what he looks like? No, it was actually my ex's idea. <laughs> 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 we both liked the mo- movie Hocus Pocus. I mean, who doesn't like the movie Hocus Pocus, first of all? But, okay, was it your ex's idea to say, regardless of what the cat looks no. like? No. No, you saw him and, and then And then, yeah, so we saw him and we were, he was going to have a movie reference or a show reference no matter what. He was either going to be Salem or he was going to be Binks. Did you know, did it have to be a black cat? Like, were you only looking at black no. cats? No. You were open color wise. Well, yeah, we, I was actually rescuing a kitten. Yeah. So, so you were just open to whichever one you felt the bond with. Yeah. And so like it was kind of an impulse buy. Um, I had actually gotten a cat a few months prior and it was like my first pet outside of my parents, you know, and uh, and I was living in Colorado and I adopted a cat. And I went with my ex and we picked him out and he was really affectionate. And we were like, this guy seems great. And he was only six, which in cat years isn't that old. And uh, we rescued him and he died like a month later and he had a bunch of tumors and he was actually 15 years old. Oh, so, um, so I didn't have the cat for that long. And I was like really upset because like in a little scarred, I was like, can I take care of an animal if one I got like right. died within a month? But 0% anything to do that you did. Yeah. He had like heart problems too. Um, that was all like they were significantly beforehand. Um, and so then like when I moved to Wichita Falls, Texas, I was like, I really want an animal. I was invested in it and excited about it. And so my ex and I like were searching around like to all the different rescues for uh, available kittens and he was at a pet co uh, with a local nonprofit um, who rescues uh, kitty cats what a sweetie so what was Salem from uh Sabrina the Teenage Witch okay I thought so but I yeah. wanted to double check yeah so Salem was from that and then that or Binks but we thought Binks was more kind of obscure and kind of funny mm-hmm. kind of a reference so. yep Nobody, I'm, he's the only Binks I know besides Hocus Pocus. Yeah, but I do have to give that credit to uh, my ex, so. <laughs> it's not my, it Shout boy. out to the ex. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> he's actually a ni- very nice guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, shouts out. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay. So today's episode though, with all of that, loving fall, I joke around and love self-deprecating humor, but I also love to call myself basic because it's a little true. (laughs) (laughs) More is it just a little true? What do you think? You're my friend. I don't think you're extremely basic. I think I, I, I like those things, but I also like things that aren't basic. I just like what I like. And here's the deal before we get started. One, <laughs> sometimes I think things are popular. So I think basic's like the opposite of a hipster. You know what I mean? Oh, basic's Do you agree? opposite. I've never thought of it that way, but now that you say it, yes. And so I think that basic people like things that are like relatively culturally popular Mm -hmm. which is the opposite of a hipster Mm -hmm. and you know what sometimes things are popular people because they're good okay (laughs) okay sometimes there's a reason things are so cool because everyone likes them so I just don't see a reason to dislike something just because it's popular I'm just like or mainstream I'm like if I like it I like it if I don't I don't and if anything that is the true definition of a hipster so (laughs) so then you're saying that you are both basic and a hipster i don't know i just (laughs) love screwing with people whenever they tease me about being basic so did you know that the word like when people say pop music pop is short for popular music 
Yes. That's what it's short for. And so then people are always like, why do people hate on pop music when everybody likes it? It in itself means that it's popular. I know. <laughs> I, I hate it when people hate things just to hate it. And I know they're like, no, it's just not good. I'm like, shit. <laughs> So you wanted to I know do several hipsters that are like, oh, no, that's not good because it's such and such. I'm like, whatever. You're just like disliking it to dislike it. Right. I'm saying it. So today's episode, we're going to talk about being basic. And you also use the word, you know, basic bitch and what it basic means. Basic bitch, which be- I don't fully approve, obviously, of calling women bitches, but it's still fun to say basic bitch so we're gonna go through and see if you and i are basic yeah based on different quizzes on the internet right yes and i have some too and then perfect and then i found an article that supports your theory as to why we should accept being basic and why basic is a good thing i called it Mm -hmm. wow okay cool so first mine is a buzzfeed article and i'm just gonna scroll through and pick random ones because there's a shit ton so One, you don't think you're basic. So I think I'm basic. So I guess one point against me. Um, Do you you think you're, do you think you're not basic? You don't think you're basic. I guess I'm basic. Okay. Um, let's see. You wear makeup to the gym. No, I do not wear makeup to the gym. First of all, I don't even go to the gym. So this one completely rolls out. If a yoga studio counts as a gym, then I go to a gym and I do not wear makeup. Here's the deal. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a single lady. And sometimes there's opportunities at the gym, if you know what I mean. (laughs) Oh, my God. You wear makeup to the gym. (laughs) Not a full face. Not a full face. Okay, good. I wear mascara. Okay, that's fine. No foundation. Okay, just mascara and another reason I joke and that's part of my self-deprecating humor that single joke but um I also um wear it because sometimes I'm like have worn it to work and like to take it off would be like a huge effort so I'll take out my foundation so I won't sweat and get that into Mm -hmm. it but I'm so confident in my brand of mascara it doesn't run when I sweat so I look beautiful no matter what (laughs) okay perfect you are that you fall under basic then i know you own a pair of ugg boots i do not own a pair of ugg boots oh my gosh she's wearing her ugg boots i actually think this is eddie bauer but i thought it was funny to wear these (laughs) um they're slippers and they're furry does that make me basic i mean if i had like some extra change pairing around like lying around maybe i would wear like buy a pair of those But it's just not what I want to spend my money on right now. Yep. Okay. You love North Face. I used to own one piece of North Face, but I don't anymore. I do not own North Face. Okay. There we go. We passed. Um, You, I would like to say Patagonia. Okay. (laughs) It's a new one. Yes. And a lot of hipsters know that. So get off my case. Okay. (laughs) Um, Two is uh, you, you can't get enough of different versions of the bar method, which is a workout thing. If I was more into working out, maybe, but no. Oh, you're about to get roasted. (laughs) You're about to get roasted. (laughs) You have had a yoga instructor change your life. I've had multiple yoga instructors change my life, so (laughs) yes. That's not fair if you're an actual (laughs) yoga instructor. First of all, (laughs) yoga is this wonderful practice that's almost spiritual, so get off their case, everybody. Um... You have scented candles. Oh my gosh. That's we like are bi- the basis of our friendship. We almost. are obsessed with candles. Um, my best friend, Emily, who was a guest on here, her mom sent me a care package just of candles the other day. And I was like, yes. <laughs> we love scented candles. They're great. Everyone can get off our uh, case. You have inspirational quotes, Pinterest board. No. Um, what? <laughs> Because <laughs> he has so many of them. You follow astrology. I do, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you have an astrological sign tattoo. I do not. Man, that was the tattoo I was thinking about getting a about- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Does that make you rethink things? Yeah. 
Um, you have done, wait, you have blamed bad things on Mercury being in retrograde. <laughs> Literally, that's what me and my coworkers do all the time. Blame it on Mercury in retrograde. Yeah. You love brunch, Instagrammy yes. brunch, tweeting about brunch. No, I don't tweet about brunch. You have a brunch group. I really like brunch. Yeah. Brunch is kind of the best. Coffee and mimosas. That's literally what I'm doing next weekend for my birthday celebration is going to brunch and then going on wine tours. That's the most basic birthday ever, but yet the best birthday ever. I don't give up because it's fall and it's gorgeous outside. Okay. I'm making myself more uh, basic. You say margs instead of margaritas. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I feel I feel like we both say that. Yep. Let's see. You own a Sex in the City <sighs> box set. I do not, but I wish I did. I did yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so does that make us basic? Um, let's see. Um You love Taylor Swift? Yep. You can identify with the song twenty two. Do you know that song? Yes. I used to sing it when I turned 22. So. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Ouch. <laughs> Bird. Was that song really five years yeah. old? Dang. Or more. Um, you have gone to Coachella multiple times. I've never been to Coachella. I and am- I have no interest in any music festival. So I give, feel like that gives me a lot of points in the other direction. That gives you a ton of points in the other direction. I have no interest. Like I'm a tiny human. A sweaty people who are taller than me just hit me down in the mosh pit. And I'm like, oh my God, I hate this. Music festivals <sighs> used to appeal to me, but I think I'm too old. I really don't want to go to music festival. It kind of sounds exhausting. I've never never thought I want to go I just want to be inside listen to one concert that I really want to listen to sit or down sit in down between. from a distance <laughs> yes <laughs> um yeah I like concerts if I can sit mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah we are not music festival people I guess sorry um let's see um a lot of the stuff I don't know. You have followed Gwyneth's advice. Who's Gwyneth? Gwyneth Paltrow? Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh. She sticks crystals up her vagina. No. Yes, she does. No. She does. I believe you, she does. I'm just saying no to the concept. I reject the concept. She is maybe the ultimate basic person. Oh, God. That's awful. Why? She, Wait, she why? Of, why? She does lots to, of like, weird things. To like balance her vagina out? Yes. She does lots of strange things that she thinks are really good for her. And maybe they are. They may be really good for her. I'm sorry. I draw the line at sticking crystals on my <laughs> vagina. That's what she does. That's dumb. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's stupid. <laughs> She has, like, recipes. She has, like, detoxes. I'm sure some detoxes and some healthy advice is helpful, but crystals ain't doing nothing to your vagina. So, <laughs> so I mean, but look at her, though. I mean, she is really beautiful. I'm sure some of the things help. I'm sure some of the things don't help. Okay. That, that's fair to say. But people do follow her a little bit like a cult a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, maybe we lost a few bit listeners. <laughs> um, so you watch The Bachelor and Bachelorette. It's true. I even won the work pool of the bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you watch you watch all of them all the time? Uh huh. Do you like grocery store Joe? No, but like it just doesn't seem my type. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to cause that could potentially cause some uproar. Yeah. Everybody loves him. Did he get voted off first? from his yeah. season see you know a lot because i watch dancing with the stars and he's on dancing with the stars i feel like that's a point toward basic for you <laughs> the only reason that i'm watching <laughs> the only reason that i'm watching is because bobby bones is on dancing with the stars oh, he's a star he is. Mm-hmm. i listen to it yeah so um that's the only reason i'm watching i'm voting for him i'm calling every monday you can call like 13 times or something that's awesome and i call and so i haven't watched dancing with the stars probably ever and now i'm totally into it like kind of hardcore and desmond is like this is the most boring show i've ever seen in my life 
who's the star who's the dancer I don't even know who these people are and I love it that's why I'm like a little skeptical no offense because grocery store Joe was on there and Bobby Bones is on there I just feel like not huge celebrity names are on there so like dancing with the stars sometimes they're like they were stars 15 years ago (laughs) Well, I think that the reason maybe is, is because they work so many hours a day on this dance, like 10 hours a day. So like stars who are like filming movies and stuff couldn't do it. Yeah, that's true. But I'm kind of like now that I have some skin in the game since, you know, Bobby's in it and all skin in the game. I like how we like are making sports references to reality TV now. I had a bachelor bracket and you are like, I got skin in the game. Now that I have some skin in the game, I really am proud of all of the stars because they work really hard on those dances and some of them are really good. Yeah. And now I follow all of them on Instagram. I follow the dancers and the stars on Instagram. So it's just opened up this whole other world to me. People love Dancing with the Stars. Old people love it. It's really a little bit like a cult as well. <laughs> and I think Bobby and his... I think Bobby and his the dancer... The rest of the episode is like Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I think Bobby and his dancer are secretly in love. I think they're in love. I think they're dating. Oh, really? I think they are. But they haven't There's come out yet. There's too much chemistry there. There's so much chemistry. <laughs> Okay. Do you feel like with the other dancers, you can like feel like hmm, sometimes and sometimes they're married and I'm like, is there some chemistry here? I don't know. I think that's what it's supposed to look like, though, if you're a dancer. Yeah, it is. It is. OK, Um. so I touched on a lot in mine. There's a lot like you love pumpkin spice. Yep. Um. Let's see what else you consider. I love all pumpkins. Uh, you should see my front door. There's six pumpkins outside. She really likes fall. Yep. Can I, I get a point because I don't like fall. I like summer. Are you pissed at me right now? Can we no longer be friends? <laughs> Not at all. You don't like el- any element. <laughs> Name one thing. <laughs> Lord, this friendship is over. I like pumpkin spice lattes. That's it. <laughs> Do you like the look of pumpkins? Yes. Do you like going in a pumpkin patch? Never been, but sounds appealing. I'll go with you. We've got to fix this sometime. Maybe next fall because we're really (laughs) swamped. But that's a problem. Okay. Let's see. There's a lot more down here. Like, this is a long-ass list. Here, I'll go into mine. Let's go to yours. Okay. we could be here for hours. Okay. And most of it does apply. (laughs) Most of it is the fact that Kinsey is a... We both probably are. Basic bitch. I'm kind of pissed that yoga falls into being basic. Are you? Yeah, because I think it's like a a mental state, but I get it. It's like a joke. And I feel like I'm already basic because I'm wearing athleisure on my podcast. Oh, my gosh. We wear athleisure all the time. That's great. (laughs) (laughs) I love athleisure. If I'm not going out at nighttime or at work, I'm in athleisure. I'm I'm in athleisure at work for sure. Yeah. So here is why there is no shame in being a basic bitch. This is on Unwritten by Gwendolyn Pope. And so basically, it's everything that we just said. So um, she's saying that the negative connotations or that is that it's a person, especially a female, who is boringly predictable or unoriginal. That's kind of the oh. the negative connotation with it. <laughs> so um, I am very original. Okay. <laughs> so here's how people use basic in a sentence. Okay. They went to but- brunch. That's so basic. I mean, that song is okay, but really it's basic. And does this flannel look too basic with these cut off jorts? <laughs> we don't wear cut off jorts. No way. <laughs> So it's no longer cool to be the base of what greater things are built on. And she's saying that she thinks that it sounds pretty bad, a pretty badass way to describe some things. Um, She goes on to mention that people, it's okay to listen to basic music or appreciate basic art or even do basic activities. If those things weren't there to be to base other things off of, there wouldn't be any non-basic stuff for all the hipsters to go apeshit over. 
So you're welcome, hipsters. Without basic people, there would be no hipsters. There would, you, would, you would just be normal. <laughs> And I think that that is a great argument. It goes back to what you were saying too, how basic is the fact that people, that a bunch of people all like the same thing. And so it's just the fact that it's a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. And that's a basic phrase even. (laughs) So what are you looking forward to this week? I'm looking forward to going to birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. We're going to have baked brie. This place is baked brie. It's really a basic place. We're going to have wine. We're going to have baked brie. <laughs> and we're going to, It's we're oh, really looking forward to it. Can I talk about one of my main basic loves? Yes. A charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love a good charcuterie board. It has, why not? It, there's wine. There's cheese involved. There's meats involved there's fruits involved and sometimes bread. olives some a lot of times bread figs oh my god almonds sometimes to cleanse the palate it's water it's making my mouth water oh my cat just spilled water okay well thanks for wrapping the <laughs> podcast this week i'm also looking forward to my birthday yay yay well thank you guys for tuning in now i have to go clean up water that uh you just spilled everywhere luckily there's no electronics in that corner of the room <laughs> Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.